top story tonight, City of Dallas responding to this new lawsuit that's been brought on by Attorney General Ken Paxton. If you missed it earlier, Paxton, he is suing the city of, uh, the city of Dallas because the State Fair of Texas is now banning concealed carry weapons. Yeah, so timeline, State Fair opens in just 28 days. Our Aaron Jones tonight with what we know so far. Attorney General Ken Paxton says the city of Dallas and the State Fair of Texas banning guns at Fair Park, a government-owned public property, is a violation of Texas law. Last year, a shooting occurred at the State Fair. Three people were injured. Then State Fair officials started looking at security, this year banning guns. We feel this is the measure that we need to put in place, and as a private organization, we have that ability to do that. Earlier this month, Paxton gave the city of Dallas 15 days to reverse the decision. He says since the city refused to comply, he's now taking legal action. He's asked the court to grant injunctive relief to prevent the ban. In a statement writing, municipalities cannot nullify state law, nor can they avoid accountability by contracting official functions to nominally third parties. Tonight, the city of Dallas responding in a statement. It says in part the city was not involved in the State Fair of Texas's announcement of its enhanced weapons policy. The State Fair of Texas is a private event operated and controlled by a private nonprofit entity and not the city. Recently, 70 Texas lawmakers signed a letter urging the State Fair of Texas Board of Directors to rescind the ban. And even if the State Fair's purported objective is to maximize safety, what they've done is to reduce safety. You know, when I see my colleagues sign on to a, a letter, you know, condemning the State Fair of Texas for trying to keep their community safe after they saw you know, gun violence in Fair Park, you know, that's that's crazy to me. In Dallas, Aaron Jones, CBS News, Texas.